Well, Gaffer, you must be a delighted man today. Oh, what a performance um, from a team again. Um, the desire, the determination to win a game of football was there in, in abundance. And if we can bottle that, the reaction of the fans at the end is is fantastic. I just said that to the players when you get a reaction from the fans. You know, you go 2 0 up, we should be, I think, 3 or 4 up. We, we're well on top. It took us a bit to get going, we were a bit careless. Concentration wasn't great in the first pass. It was a bit bitty. Um, the first goal from the f moment we scored, Dem scored, uh, we were totally dominant. And uh, I was just disappointed we didn't go more than 1 0 up with two or three very good, very good chances. But they're a very dangerous team, Oxford, and in particular what we worked on. We were a little bit careless when we were attacking, which meant they always had the opportunities to counter attack. But second half, obviously, when we get the second goal, we're well on top. Our energy was outstanding, our pressing was outstanding. And then, of course, the red card changes the game. But we withstood some pressure, but then we, we get the third goal, and that, that was a big goal for us. Yes, yeah, you've scored some wonderful goals this season. The second goal and the fourth goal, when you when you look at where they start and where they end, unbelievable movement and unbelievable, unbelievable desire to, to support the front players. Well, that's the, th the thing. People want to run. People want to get up to the front players. People want to run past the front players. And, you know, that's the big thing that stood out from the last five games. Our running stats have, have been the best they've been all season. And you've got Smodic that wants to run tails and Brownie will run Knight. He comes on and... and Wardy, Butts, we, players that can run, they're fit. My lads are looking strong. They're really looking strong physically, and that's massively important at this stage of the season. We well, lost Frankie Kent to <coughs> injury. Yeah. Um, looked fairly innocuous, but, but I guess you have to wait and see what happens now. Yeah, well, it's a worry. I must admit, I've seen that before. And I, uh, it's, he's planted his leg and his knee. He's felt his knee, so I'm, I'm, I'm not optimistic about it. I've got to be honest, but I hope for the boy that obviously he's okay. Bennett and Mason obviously came into the, the fray in, in the game and aside from one really good Pim save, obviously there was one that was offside, but apart from that other one, they didn't really trouble your goalkeeper too much. No, they didn't because what when they, they obviously had the numerical advantage, they started getting overloads in the wide areas and they started putting lots of balls into the box. The reason Pimmy didn't make too many, made, I thought, two great saves, one in particular, um, was the positions on the centre half were outstanding. They always got the first ball, they always cleared it, they were brilliant. My three subs were brilliant when they came on, they really were. Um, and Benno and Mason are going to need, obviously, for Tuesday, Tom will be out, Frankie I would expect to be out. And that's what we need, we need them all. Uh, but the desire they're showing, the character, to, whack, to win five games in the bounce, you know, is is fantastic to score 12 goals against three teams that are around us. is fantastic. We're on a great run, and we knew it was a big week, um, but we're in a good place at the moment. And I think the players have got the bit between their teeth, and it's important that we just keep our standards going. And Tuesday is going to be a totally different game. The mentality is going to have to be correct, but I'll have to make sure that's the case. Yeah, Ivan's only got the sponsors man of the match. Could have been anyone, in truth, but he, he led the line very well again, didn't he? He's, he's, he's a top player, he really is, he's scored another two goals, but the work he puts in and the, the way he gets us up the pitch and, and the referee can wait to book him, you know, another decision, he, he, he's been kicked the whole game and how you can go through a game like that and not book one of their centre-halves, I don't think, until he brought him down on the edge of the box and yet send my player off and then book Ivan is beyond me. So. Unfortunately, I feel that Ivan in the first 30 minutes was a bit, he made one tackle and he got away with it, he was a little bit timid because he knows, he's, I can feel he's got this booking thing hanging over him. He's now on nine, one more and it's a two-match suspension. But really, we have to manage Ivan, but he has to play the way he's always played. Mm. And Josh Knight comes on and no real need to beat the player in the end, but uh, obviously finished a, another great move off. Yeah, fantastic. He got up, Sammy, Sammy I think it was Sammy made three. Sammy's final pass was outstanding today but Knight he's got up there good composure beat the man and he's fired out away but it could have been six or seven it really could have been but I'm delighted with the players um, and we'll have to get them ready for another big game on Tuesday